Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you in a few simple steps how to add a new page to your WordPress site. And in this example, we're using the Divi theme. So if you want to head over to pages, you can look at all the pages or add new. For this example, I'm just going to go to all pages. So you can see there's the current pages. This is just four pages on this website currently. So if I want to add a new page, two ways I can do it. I can press this blue add new button or I can press that. They go to the same place. So add new. Now here's first step, the title of the page, what you want the page to be called. So let, let's say, for example, we want to call this page FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions. So now that that's done, I can click out of there. It automatically makes a permalink, which is what the actual link will be, the bit after the .com.au. Um, I can change that to whatever I like, press OK, and it'll make it um, you know, um, browser friendly. So now we can just add content to the page. Now, if we don't want to go fancy, we just want to put a bit of text on that page. Uh, you know, we can just type whatever we like here and, you know, press publish and it's actually, you know, that simple. Um, but if we view that, uh, it's going to put the standard uh, widgets over on the right and, and there's not much going on on that page. So if we go back to edit page, you'll see this big purple button here, use the Divi Builder. So this turns on the Divi Page Builder, which is really a powerful tool. So because we just added that one word before hello, it's automatically generated a text box for us here. If we if we go into that, uh, we can see there it is. But it, it just gives us a lot more options here. We can change the text orientation, the text color, and that kind of thing. Um, this gray bar represents that, that text area. So it's got three icons on it, one to remove this module, one to clone this module, and then the one I clicked before, the, the settings to go in there. So say for example, we wanted, wanted to put a nice pretty header up the top of this page with the title of the page. So uh, let's add a full width section. Now I might drag that to the top, so it's a header. Insert a module. Now there's sliders, there's post titles, all sorts of things. Let's just go with a full width header. And let's give it a title. Frequently asked questions. I could put a subtitle. Let's just put an example one. Uh, we might like the text color to be light because we might want to put a background color up the top. Let's just go with the blue. Save and exit. Uh, now that we've made changes, we need to press update over here. And look to see that it's been updated. This view, view page here is the same as that view page. Let's have a look. So there's our header that's already bringing the page a bit more to life. And I'll just show you another couple of things you could you could do here. You could actually change uh, the layout on the page. We've got that text going all the way across. If we hit this icon here, we can actually change the structure. So it could be divided into two halves, three, you know, as you can see, quite a few different variations. So let's just um, change this to to three uh, sections. And let's say, for example, let's just paste in a bit extra text here. Okay. Now, if, if you can see that that, one, that module there is text. If we click insert module here, there's a lot of other uh, different things you can add. I could make a video for each one, but um, in this case, uh, I'm just going to sort of rush through a couple. So let's say you just wanted to add an image. You can actually upload a fresh image, and there's plenty of options you can do on there as well. You can choose something from your media library. Let's do that in this case. So I've selected that, press set as image, there it is, save. So now it'll have an image there. And then let's insert another module here. Let's put, so we wanted to put a quick little contact form. Name, email, message. We can add new fields. Uh, 
capture that's a form security we type in what email address we want it to go to it's that easy to add a form in uh, Divi theme page builder but I'll do a separate video for that so if I press save press update page is refreshed press view page okay so there's my page now with some text a photo and a form and that's the basics on how to add a new page in WordPress using the Divi theme builder